all right welcome back welcome back welcome back so we're going to talk about the lead attorney the first viral moment i think that we've had on this platform was because of lead attorney uh who is lead attorney we're going to talk about that in a second here i'm going to share a video with you um but what's the title here the title says the lead attorney versus duke and Dunn. Then you spoke in precisely about racism you That's said uh the lead attorney versus duke the dawn and uh these are two content creators you know uh that i stumble into their videos from time to time i pay attention to what they say um and um you might see me react to some of their stuff too as well you know i like duke the dawn duke the dawn is actually an evil man he's an evil brother of mine um but you know he came to one of my comments one time he said let's collaborate but um he never responded to my reply to him but uh it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter let's stay focused here lead attorney is a it's a 20 years divorce attorney this is how he introduced himself right who is uh always talking about uh he claims it's not part of the manosphere, but it is, in fact, part of the manosphere and is advocating for men heavily, um, heavily, okay? But I've also heard him with some nuances. I think he's a very wise and smart guy, ultimately. Um, I don't know him personally. I have called into his show before, and that was why we had our first viral moment, because there's this thing called the sign language. Uh, I noticed at the time that, you know, uh, a bunch of these lame young men, whenever you don't agree with them, it's either they, if it's a woman, they say, oh, she's speaking the sign language right now. I'm like, mm, what is that? Sign language, does that mean, <laughs> right? Like the language of the deaf community, or I didn't know it was an acronym, right? I just didn't know, right? But I thought I knew that it was uh, some kind of proverbial thing with regards to uh, you're not on the topic. Like you, you're, you're, I, I knew that it meant you're shaming and you're not on the topic of the argument, but I didn't know it was an acronym. I just didn't know. So, um, I ended up calling into the show. I'm talking about lead attorney now, right? Uh, let me show you their faces. Sorry about that. Oh, so that's lead attorney in the suits. He's always in a blue suit and different colors of ties. And he does his show entertaining. He's very good at what he does. He has about 200,000 subscribers now. Duke the Dawn is pretty early for him too. It's kind of like a level, maybe a little bit more subscribers than myself, okay? But he reacts to a lot of this video. So he decided to call in to the lead attorney show. So when I call into the lead attorney show, he's very good at, if, if he has an angle where he can clown you, right? Not, I don't think it's intentional clowning, but if it's, it can be entertaining, he will capture it and then it becomes another viral moment. So we, I caught some viral moments sort of kind of in a negative way you know majority of people thinking that this dude doesn't even know what a sign language is so what sign language sign, sign is ac acronym for shaming insult guilt and need to be right okay I'm like, oh it makes sense because i'm always preaching that shaming blaming doesn't work it just makes people shut down and lo and behold men also shut down when they feel like you're shaming them <laughs> okay shaming insulting guilt and need to be right s-i-g-n sign language that's what i meant but it still aligns because i could tell in context i know when they use it it's like oh there she goes with that sign language again that means you're shaming so if i say if i say if i say let me say for example let's say i'm saying like like so what do you want you want a hundred thousand you want somebody that makes a hundred thousand dollars like what makes you think you you deserve a hundred thousand dollars you're just an average woman and then if the woman goes and says, Look, you're talking like a lame person with a small D energy. You're like, oh, there goes the sign language because you chose to go in the direction of shaming me or insulting me because I'm trying to tell you the truth. That's what the sign language is. So that was my encounter with the lead attorney. Okay. So, um, but I've noticed that there are also nuances in, uh, in what lead, lead attorneys at rhetorics is heavily skewed in men's direction in supporting men right if you've listened to me long enough and you have critical thinking you know that i also support men just not at the detriment of them not being men if you're not a man i'll call you out on it as soon as i can right like no no that's not what a man's supposed to act like you're not supposed to compete with women period 
because you're a man. See, you want to become a woman. Eh? You're a man. Why are you saying them two? They two should. They, that's not. That's what women do. Why are you doing that? <laughs> right? Why are you trying to compete with your woman? Right? So, this is my angle. This is why I'm different from the majority of those people. Duke the Don is kind of like me, but it's a little bit more aggressive in nature in the way he drops his points. But anyway, he decided to call in. So basically, this whole thing that happened with Just Pearl things being called out over the past week, this whole thing, uh, there were a few people, a few men that just couldn't say like, this woman is wrong. She's been finessing men. They, it's, I don't know if they can't see it. I don't know if they're that slow. I don't know. Lee Daton is one of them. <laughs> okay. They, I, I don't know. But... I don't know, but they, they just stand on their screen. Leader Tony, Anton Daniels, all those people that will be reacting to their gibberish over time here, right? They just couldn't see it. But again, you know, so here's the thing. When I first came into this place space about 18 months ago, they would say, hey, they were, what's wrong with holding women accountable? I'm like, what do you mean holding women accountable? Like just holding them, just telling them that they're wrong. That's what you mean? Like, okay, all right. So they want to hold women accountable. But well, usually what they mean is that they just want to drag women as much as they can. Okay? Listen, if you've been told about three or four times that you tend to drag women, there is truth to it. Oh, let me let me let me adjust. If you've been told that you tend to drag women, what it usually means is that you're probably terrible at communication and also there's something about you. Maybe they can read your spirit. I know you don't think it's a grown man thing to be able to read spirits. Actually, that's opposite. It's whatever you just said, flip it, right? So there's something about you that's shooting out like, let me just drag women, let me just drag women. Yes, you have some point you're trying to make, some valid point, but I think that spirit is overriding everything else and that's what they can hear. That is what it is. Some of us can hear it, okay? So, so lead attorney force in that category. Uh, but again, like I said, I've seen him on some other interviews outside of his platform, just like, Kevin Samuels and it's much more centered and balanced and had nuances that make sense like he knows that a woman is a different that don't try to, he knows those things but on his platform is any if he gets a chance to drag women never directly okay but yeah the, you can tell okay never really directly so he's good at you know and he has women that follow him quite all right okay so um but the, the point here is accountability Right, the point I want to extract from this, this started with the just power things. But so Duke to Dunn decided to call into the show to hold lead account, lead, I said lead account, lead attorney accountable for not checking uh just power things for for just holding her accountable. Right? And this is what transpired, and that's why I wanted to play. I just want you to know that if you talk long enough, if you talk long enough, right? We will find out that you're a human like the rest of us, just a human, meaning you will contradict yourself sometimes, meaning if you've had pain and you're talking from your pain, it will come out eventually, meaning if you get caught up in your emotions, you will tell on yourself, okay? Yeah, just like me too, right? So I just want you to know about that. And more importantly, you will contradict yourself. But the Duke, the Don, caught him red-handed here, contradicting himself. And that's why I wanted to play this for you. And I want you to beware when all you do is talk and you don't listen this will happen to you and it might happen in a very dangerous way that it has grave consequences okay you need to learn how to listen okay listen between the lines okay listen if you want to get stuck on semantics and the pragmatism of everything you can collect because human beings don't operate that way it's very simple right and you will get checked by reality so watch this yeah, I, said, I never I, said that you said that. My whole time I've been sitting here talking about accountability. Matter of fact, you just cut me off after answering your question okay. about then, accountability. Then you spoke in I never talked about racism. You That's said, not my argument. Okay, you need to speak more precisely when you talk to me because you... He said, you spoke imprecisely. You need to speak more precisely. Uh, that's dumb, okay? There's no such thing. People, every single one of you, including myself, you're speaking from your feelings. When you get caught up in your feelings in an argument and the debate, it is what it is. There's a reason why you're engaged in that conversation. It's because you care at some level. 
caring care that means emotions right meaning it's not necessary for some weird reason not necessarily one and two equals to two not necessarily because you're making money right now not because you're being objective you care about the conversation so in an effort to make your point land to argue this thing down you might find yourself uh pooping on yourself like like a normal human being just so you know <laughs> okay about racism. you That's said not my argument okay you need to speak more precisely so clearly duke de don is much more visibly emotional about this topic but he made that clear this is the difference just being aware and say yeah that's what i'm just human i'm emotional i'm not just some logical machine no i'm human emotional i care about this topic so i'm speaking from a place of emotion just being aware enough to do that yes i put you right here just like that okay because then i can at least listen to why why is this such a big deal for you right i suppose to no 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 i just want to debate two plus two equals to four no but it's not four or five that's never the conversation it's never some exact science stupid conversation okay it's stuff that human beings care about it's stuff that you have to show some empathy you have to yeah not only to the person you're speaking about whatever the subject of the matter is right but we have some of the men leaders in this space saying, no, just me what you mean and say what you mean and stand on your square. That's stupid. What's square? You're never standing on square in real life. But even, I know what you mean by standing on your square. Even that one, you're not capable of doing that. You're all over the place at the end of the day. All right, let's keep going. When you talk to me, because you said that's not racism. You that's said, not argument. Okay, you need to speak more precisely when you talk to me, because you said that's not the argument. You didn't say that wasn't my argument. So you need to speak more precisely when you talk to my intelligent bro. So I'm looking at a comment there <laughs> on the side. There's a comment on the side saying, y'all smell that? It's Duke. Like I said, poop. Right? So we have a bunch of men that will follow those people. Right? And they can't wait to shame and insult anybody that's speaking against their guru. They just can't wait. Men. Right? What does that mean? It's not a big deal. We're just cruising. Well, it means a lot tells me that you're full of duke shit <laughs> okay let's keep going my or d it's me and you on a panel right now either way it's race you're being do racist. you not, see, not do the you not see the confusion if you would have said that's not my argument i would have understood but you I said, said that not... at the start of this the moment no, i was here oh uh, listen listen let's just slow down and speak precisely okay you're saying what is that, that? You what is speak precisely the person is speaking and you say slow down and speak precisely that's condescending you're calling them slow and dumb right you're trying to make them feel less than so you can what land a point that's not landable like no if you're truly gonna stand on your skirts like i don't feel like she's racist that's all I hear you. I don't feel like she's racist. But if you have to go to that place where you say, eh, you need to be precise. You need to be an adult. You need to like, yeah, you're just like the rest of us, ain't it? <laughs> All right. And your argument is that I did not hold her accountable. My point is I don't know how to hold people accountable. On oh, now you don't know how to hold people accountable. I was held accountable on that platform for not knowing the acronym sign language and I receive you the full chest. I was saying, you know what? No, I know what sign language is because I understand the context when they use it. I didn't realize that there was an acronym, right? I didn't know, right? I didn't know what it was, but it was useless because what matters in life is context at the end of the day. I could smell it that you're basically throwing sign language back at people when you said there goes the sign language again you shut down the point i was trying to make that day is like listen listen actively to what people are trying to say before you start saying sign language that point completely got lost because you have grown men stuck on exact science precise type of conversation right no we can't forget the video is up there still going viral on this platform right he put a picture of me in my native he put it up there that's fine good sports no big deal right but here we are you're not capable of being a machine you're a human being if you're speaking from a place of pain we can tell if you're speaking with your emotions we can tell no matter how much you try to stay centered blah 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 all this kind of stuff right we can tell and your best bet 
is to acknowledge that first that we're all emotional beings at the end of the day that's your best bet not speak precisely not make sure you use the same exact sentence that's stupid because it doesn't exist <laughs> okay on the internet now you just now you just this is just wordplay what um, what he goes my point is i don't know how to hold people accountable on the internet now you just now you just this is just wordplay Oh on my the, God! On the internet, yes! On the internet, it's just one on the kind internet of really lead on the internet. Oh really my lead, God! On the internet, who this we talking about? Who we okay, talking okay, okay. about on the internet, lead? Speak Who's precisely. on the internet that's being a big screw up right now, lead? We talking about Pearl? Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. So you switching it up? This whole conversation is about Pearl. You're not holding her accountable. You talking? You taking from Pearl and then you turn into the people on the internet. Bro, we're not talking about people on the internet. You stop switching the words. We, I'm on you, bro. We're talking about Pearl. Why are we not holding her accountable? And you ask me, what does holding her accountable mean? I personally never believe you can hold strangers accountable. I don't know. What do you mean by that? Just telling them they're wrong or right? Okay, all right, they're wrong. Are you happy? I personally don't think that. But this conversation I'm having right now is bigger than that. It's about the hypocrisy, right? At best hypocrisy everywhere i don't think the intention wants to go but this this part where they think like oh yeah because i can no you're not okay if anything if you're not able to listen to in between the lines it makes you weak if anything okay and i might ignore you and leave you alone and let you get away let i let you have that right but at the end of the day <laughs> nobody's perfect right right now again don is consumed by this energy because he called into a show it's a matter of fact it's not at this point i don't think he's sure he might get kicked off the stage because it was the lead attorney's stage and shout out to him because he never did that he was very gracious throughout the process but yeah contradicting himself actively i don't know how to hold strangers accountable that's literally what your whole platform is about let's be honest holding strangers on the internet accountable I learned that after the fact. I learned that eventually. That, oh, the accountable, just tell them they're wrong. Or Because in my mind, like, hold accountable how? You want to fuck them. You want to beat them. You can't beat people for being wrong. You want to beat women. They will just call you small D energy every day. And you will hate it. You will keep saying sign language. But you get to attract the energy you put out there. Not the words, though. You can be saying the truth. But the energy, whatever energy they feel, is what you're going to, it's going to create what you attract. And you said you were holding her accountable by telling her she was wrong. I mean, I'm keeping track of everything you're saying. So don't sit there and slip in these little wordplays like I'm not going to catch it. Now you adding the internet part to try to act like you got to win, my boy. What are you talking about? We talking about Pearl. That's what this conversation is about. That's what it's been about. So don't switch it to people on the internet because we talking about your girl, Pearl. What you do you know say? Pearl or do you know her on the internet? Irrelevant. You no know pro from the internet. Irrelevant. Yeah. So, but you got a problem that I mentioned the word internet that set you off. The word. It doesn't have a problem with you using the word internet. Jesus Christ! This is what I call lame. If you really have to bring it down to zeros and ones and black and white, a conversation between two human beings. That's lame. The fact that I said it's internet just but you said the way you said it though you said people oh, the on way the that I said it You're not this even is saying what my the way that I said it uh, he's about to he's about to call him out on his emotions it's clear he's emotional about the topic you're not saying anything profound anything new it's obvious but you're about to su surprise us though that you're also emotional let's see let's go back it's internet just but you said the way you said it though you said people oh, the on way the that i said it You're not this is what my girlfriend is saying my you said girlfriend's my the the internet. Internet. he said this is what my girlfriend will say that is a sign language my friends that's a sign language it's an active insult it's calling that man a girl okay now we do that we all do that let's be honest the point i'm making here is for somebody to stay in a high horse and say i don't do that that's lies that's hypocrisy you do okay for us men on this modern men age say oh women always say sign language this is one of your biggest gurus 200 000 subscribers strong using sign language on another fellow man it happens all the time maybe this is the first or second time that i've pointed it out why are you calling the young man a girl 
can't have a simple conversation he tried listen let's be honest he tried i'm just pointing it out like that's a sign language right there the way you said it lead attorney this is what my this is what your girlfriend say this is how your girl now it's mocking her, mocking him as in he's talking like a girl <laughs> girlfriends communicate two grown men up here and you're communicating like a girl it's the way you said it lead attorney it was you just talked about the way i said oh something oh my too. god whoa <laughs> bro you see now you being a hypocrite you just sat here arguing oh, about you need, to do. you need to be more precise on your words and then when I levy the same criticism against you, you're saying that I'm arguing like a female. So what the hell have you been doing this whole time? Yeah, uh, just so, just in this masculinity, like, you're not, you're not masculine friend. <laughs> Come on, TLA. You, like, this was all right. Dealing what, with what, just what? an average dude out here, Lee. Lee. No, you're not average. <laughs> you, you're not average. All right. What what's another point that you have? Listen, you never have to sell anybody that you're an average. Or, they can have their opinion if they want. It's called opinions. It's like ass holes. Everybody has one. Okay, uh, you think I'm average? Knock yourself out in your teeth. Knock your teeth out as well. But <laughs> you never have to worry about that. Okay, but no, the accountability points all I have. There's a whole smoke I have with you, and clearly well, you're not holding her accountable. So there's really nothing much else to say. I He's asking him to hold his friend. It's clearly his friend because he's been supporting just for our things. Hold her accountable. Like some other people have done, even some of the one of the guys that went to visit her more recently held her accountable like that. But D shout out to Duke, he ended up holding uh TLA, uh, the lead attorney accountable, and he did well. But look at all the ch I don't know if you could see all the chats that's going on in there. Those people, yes, this is sign language. I'm sorry, they can't get up TLA's balls, they were tagged onto it like this. Dear life. <laughs> right <laughs> we understand your point now uh, and everything else i had to cover especially the main one because i really hope to god when you made that statement the last time where you said you weren't you know you got stuck with all these other clients and you know because you were the black lawyer i, I, I wanted to make sure you weren't running off of that grip right so that that was fine but yeah let's leave that alone let's leave that alone shout out to all 12 of you that's still watching me don't worry to make sense over time to make more and more sense over time as we move into we'll be reacting to some of this stuff as we move along but yes um accountability and danger of talking too much you talk too much you're not that you're not as scientific or machine language you think you are you're just human like the rest of us uh there's no amount of logic fallacies that's going to help you not be human you're human like the rest of us you get caught up in your feelings and if you and the the best way to you will end up you know falling even faster just by not acknowledging that you're an emotional being like the rest of us you know but yes 